Elderly YouTuber writes his subscribers down in a notebook and then thanks them individually. Everyone like that. How's it going everyone and welcome back to Easy Peasy. My name is Zach and today we're going to be taking a look at r slash made me smile. Oh, look at dad. Doing tea time with the girls. I, I love it. This is, this is wholesome. He looks great in that hat by the way. Due to virus we decided to just go to the courthouse today instead of stressing about the wedding we've been planning for months couldn't be happier i've been in love with this woman since i was four years old wow that's impressive congrats couple marry again after husband with dementia proposes to wife he thought was his girlfriend oh my cat always covers his private parts when sleeping on his back because he is a decent upstanding member of society 2400 lucky people got to hear john williams conduct a program of his music on wednesday night one who didn't was a security guard stationed in the stairwell leading to the musician's locker rooms seth lowe gave her a mini concert of star wars themes much to her light oh missing dog i miss my dog she's not gone or anything just at home and i'm here at work enjoy the picture of her <laughs> i will i just saw a dad get out of the car with his two young boys and he yells who can go hug mom the fastest and all of them start running towards their house that's the kind of future i want you're not even watching the movie me yes i am <laughs> yeah today i messed up by buying a bottle of wine at the movies went to fancy movie theater with date decided to buy a bottle of wine go back to bar ask for two glasses bartender says he needs two ids I'm too lazy to go back to seats to grab Date's ID. I tell him I'm alone and was embarrassed to ask for just one glass. He is clearly sympathetic. Idiot me then tries to sell the story and continue on about how lonely I've been recently. He tells me he's off in a few minutes and insists on watching the movie with me. I try to fight it, but I can only argue so much without giving away the truth. Bartender is insistent. I text my date what's happening, go back to the theater with my new date, sit a few rows in front of my first date. She has the stupidest grin on her face as me and the bartender, Jared, sit a couple rows in front of her. He ends up being super cool and bought him and me another bottle during the movie. Movie ends. I thank him for his gesture. He didn't even ask her my number or anything. I think Jared was just a genuine guy trying to comfort someone. Met back up with my date in the parking lot and thankfully she found the whole thing hilarious. I don't deserve Jared. Katherine Johnson, NASA legend, 1918 to 2020. Rest in peace indeed. Married people of Reddit, what did you only start doing in your relationship after you got married? Everything. I married my husband who was in the Navy at 18 and he immediately moved me across the country and then got deployed, leaving still teenage me alone in a strange place trying to take care of our home alone. My sweet elderly neighbor who had been really lonely because her son didn't visit often came over the first week with some flowers from her garden. I was so touched, I started crying. And she said, honey, what's wrong? I was like, how do you write a check to pay bills? She helped me. We became really good friends. I'll never forget her. Oh, man. A bar in my neighborhood is delivering entire liters of their premix margaritas for $25, and you can get a complimentary roll of toilet paper with your purchase, and it's really starting to feel like there are no rules anymore. So I found this caterpillar on my way to class. We're bros. I named him Chicken Nugget. Ah, he's turning a duller color. I hope he's all right. So apparently Chicken Nugget is a spice bush swallowtail, and they turn yellow before they pupate. He was making little silk things everywhere. Bro, this caterpie's gonna evolve into a metapod today. My boys are messing around. He's been chilling like this for a couple days. He's been in cocoon for 10 days now. Chicken nugget is a chicken wing. Now, baby, we have liftoff. Yeah. Nice. Found my clone selling nuts in Istanbul. We couldn't communicate, but the whole market was cry laughing. <laughs> there is no day that can't be improved by seeing pictures of how they weigh an owl. That is amazing. An old Italian gentleman lived alone in New Jersey. He wanted to plant his annual tomato garden, but it was very difficult work as the ground was hard. His only son, Vincent, who used to help him, was in prison. The old man wrote a letter to his son and described his predicament. Dear Vincent, I'm feeling pretty sad because it looks like I won't be able to plant my tomato garden this year. I'm just getting too old to be digging up garden plot. I know if you were here, my troubles would be over. I know you'd be happy to dig the plot for me, like in the old days. Love, Papa. A few days later, he received a letter from his son. Dear Papa, don't dig up that garden. That's where the bodies are buried. Love, Vinny. At 4 a.m. the next morning, FBI agents and local police arrived and dug up the entire area without finding any bodies. They apologized to the old man and left. The same day, the old man received another letter from his son. Dear Papa, go ahead and plant the tomatoes now. That's the best I could do under the circumstances. Love you, Vinny. Oh, man. That has to be one of the most gorgeous creatures God has ever made. And I'd just like to take him home and just, just keep him as a pet. But that's not what he's meant to be. He's meant to be free, free. I love Bob Ross so much. When one act of kindness creates a lifelong friendship, I fixed a pigeon's wing so he went to fetch his girlfriend and now they live at my house. Oh. Ten years ago, I said one day. Yesterday, I said day one. That is incredible. I love that. I saw this oh it's so good a police officer spent his lunch break sharing pizza with a homeless woman and it was captured in a heartwarming photo oh today at the airport one of the drug dogs set off a false alarm and officers rushed over to find out the dog had alerted them for a piece of pizza the handler just patted his head and goes it's okay buddy i know pizza always confuses you gave him his treat anyways oh my little sister tells our puppy to play teacher with her all the time and he actually sits and listens to her talk and draw on the whiteboard it is clear in the lease no pets are allowed in the apartment sorry okay i will make an exception because he looks very polite oh 
This sweet little boy has been having a hard time since his pop passed away. He's been praying for a little stuffy of pop that he can carry around with him. He chose this photo and also requested that pop would be holding a fish. I love what I do and love that it matters. Very good. Five years ago, I lived in an apartment and said hello to this one man almost every day last week. I ran into him and he said, I have something for you, and dug through his bag. It was a postcard that someone had sent me after I had moved. He held onto it for five years. Met this sweet man at Outback. He saw us at prom and showed us a picture of him and his wife at prom in 1949. Wow. <laughs> Aw, they can't help but look at the little puppy. I, well, I couldn't be able to help myself. My parents told my little sister she couldn't dye her hair unless she found someone to do it with her. So guess who has purple hair now? <laughs> Amazing. Since our doors are temporarily closed to the public, we let our rats explore the California Science Center. Under staff supervision, of course. My grandpa called me in the middle of my shift at work today and he goes, I know you're working, but this is important. Do you want to go to Red Lobster with me on Saturday? That's amazing. I would, I would go. From 75 in 1905 to 3,600 in 2020, India's rhino population has increased by 35 times in 115 years. Excellent. While putting your favorite condiment on a sandwich, you accidentally make a magical occult symbol and summon a demon. You silently take two more slices of bread out of the package and make another sandwich. You put it on a plate with a handful of potato chips and hand it to the demon. He takes the sandwich, smiles, and vanishes in a puff of demonic smoke. The next day you get that job promotion you're after. There was no contract, no word spoken, you owe nothing. But every now and then, another demon pops in for lunch. Demons don't often get homemade sandwiches. <laughs> Just a reminder that your parents don't determine what you become. My dad has been a meth addict my entire life. Growing up, I always felt like that would confine me with what I would be able to make of myself. Recently, I was accepted into my top choice medical school. Hell yeah. I know this is pandering, but I've been depressed for months and haven't hit the gym during that time. Mr. Schwarzenegger, can you please tell me to get off my lazy ass and hit the gym? I swear to everything I hold dear that I will snap out of it and go. I'm not going to be that hard on you. Please don't be that hard on yourself. We all go through challenges. We all go through failure. Sometimes life is just a workout. But the key thing is you get up. Just move a little. Roll out of bed and do some push-ups or go for a walk. Just do something. One step at a time. I hope you feel better and get back to the gym. But don't beat yourself up because that's just useless talk. It doesn't get you closer to the gym. And don't be afraid to ask for help. Good luck. Thanks, Arnold. Asaya and Jawa Javid, I'm sorry if I got those names wrong, owners of a small shop in Scotland spent 2,000 pounds on mask and alcohol gel and are giving them away free to older people. Found two kitties cuddling by the sea. This is more romantic than anything I've ever done in my life. Adorable. It was just like your favorite person day at five-year-old Easton's school today. Easton wanted to go as a school security offer Jeffrey because he says he keeps me safe. So his mom made him a shirt and surprised Jeffrey at school. Best buds for sure. This is wholesome AF. Some things never change. <laughs> oh. Single dad adopts teen abandoned at the hospital. I knew I had to take him. Families don't have to match. It's true. It's true. Kenya installs the first solar plant that transforms ocean water into drinking water. That is good. Dad, today is your birthday. I had an extra strong cup of tea just how you liked it. I hugged mom for you and told her how much we love her. Robert and I went on a hike through the mountains you cherished. I watched one of your documentaries with Chandler and shared stories about you. I walked through your office in the zoo and smiled at your own family photographs. Today and every day I miss you and love you beyond description. You're always with me. Oh, Bindi Irwin. I'm, oh, I'm alright. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they're so happy. I mean, they're, they're surrounded by sunflowers. I, 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 I would be happy myself. Ever since my daughter found out our plant Serena wasn't getting enough sunlight, she insists on taking her out for walks while holding her up to the sun. Aw. I'm at Petco and they found a kitten in the storm and put her in a little sweater. Oh man. Reason 628,293 I love my mom. When we were wee little elementary school kids, my sisters and I loved the Tamagotchi games, but the Tamagotchi required consistent attention, right? And we couldn't play them during school, so my mom would bring it to work with her and she'd do all of her accounting, banking stuff, while also feeding two Tamagotchi pets. This small, serious Asian lady playing Tamagotchi for her daughters. I love her so much. I'm glad people enjoyed this post. I sure do. How is everyone making these? With an app called Photophonia. Thanks, man. I appreciate this. <laughs> a man who had a few too many alcoholic beverages ordered an Uber for a baby goldfinch that he found struggling on the ground. The baby bird was the sole passenger on the ride to a wildlife rehab. I actually have a habit of upvoting a lot just in case it may make someone happy. So one day I was upvoting a guy to whom I was disagreeing and he was downvoting me every time I replied to him. He realized that he was getting upvoted instantly on every reply and he asked, are you upvoting me? I replied, hmm, yep, your comments are polite and well put, even though I disagree. It's a bad habit to downvote just because I have a different opinion. That guy DM'd me and we are friends to this day. He even upvoted all those comments in that thread which he had downvoted. So you see guys, a little upvote actually makes a huge difference. Spread love. Wholesome. No dogs were at the dog park this morning. My good boy waited patiently for his friends to arrive. Aw. Walrus becomes embarrassed when receiving a cake made of fish for its birthday. <laughs> Look, I I am bad at accepting things too. <laughs> I love this. He doesn't want to wash it off. Come on. I mean, come on. I was lonely until I glued a cup of coffee onto my car. Now everybody waves at me. <laughs> the World Health Organization has announced that dogs cannot contract COVID.
19. Dogs previously held in quarantine can now be released. To be clear, who let the dogs out? I see what you did there. So I worked at a library and about a month ago, I helped a little old woman who is legally blind figure out how to listen to her audiobooks on her tablet. We got to chatting and I mentioned that I always listen to audiobooks while I knit, which made her very excited and she told me about all the afghans she used to make when she could still see. She was so sweet and I was so glad to be able to help her figure out a way to still enjoy books without being able to read. Yesterday I answered the phone at work and when I said my name, the woman on the other line got so excited and said, Madeline? You're exactly who I wanted to talk to. This is Mary Brandon and you helped me about a month ago. How late are you working today? It was her. About an hour later, she and her husband showed up and she was carrying a huge stack of old knitting patterns for me. And her husband brought in a few boxes full of yarn. They couldn't stay long, but I was so touched that she remembered me and I struggled to not just flat out start crying when she handed me the patterns. When I looked through them later, I realized it was her entire personal collection from over the years, including all her personal notes and drawings and even some photographs of her finished pieces. No one in my family knits and to have someone pass on their legacy to me like that was incredibly moving. This isn't what I usually post here, but with life being especially dark lately, I wanted to share a moment of happiness and a reminder that a bit of kindness goes a long way. A co-worker just texted me that Mary brought in even more yarn for me today. I'm going to be crying into my knitting until the day I die. And well, that brings us to the end of r slash made me smile, and I gotta say, my face hurts from smiling so much. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time Easy Peasy uploads. And until the next one, I'll see you around.